to the most important the most important uh, session uh, we will uh, see uh, about dictionary in python so uh, uh, when you work on data uh, we get data in uh, different uh, formats. The one uh, format we get is a uh, dictionary. So the best uh, thing to get data is uh, a dictionary list uh, and uh, JSON. So uh, dictionary is uh, a type of data that can store a collection of uh, 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 data a collection of uh, data. So what kind of uh, collection of data we uh, store in dictionary? So uh, first uh, let's explain, there are a lot of uh, data types in Python. Uh, the one is uh, integer type, we can store uh, integer number in uh, dictionary, uh, I mean in Python. Uh, we can also store uh, data in the form of table or boolean or string and another uh, based and composite data type is called a dictionary which is uh, similar to list that can store a collection of objects so this collection of objects are uh, an ordered uh, uh, collection of objects uh, changeable and indexed uh, based uh, collection of uh, 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 data or object. So uh, we can simply uh, uh, compare uh, the difference between uh, dictionary and uh, list. Both can store uh, uh, a collection of data, but they are uh, similar and uh, in the other hand, they are uh, different. So Python uh, dictionary is an ordered changeable Changeable means uh, we can change the item in the uh, dictionary and it is uh, indexed based uh, or indexed uh, collection of items. The other is list. Uh, list is not uh, an ordered uh, uh, type of uh, data, but it is an uh, ordered uh, types. It is an uh, ordered uh, collection of data. Like lists, dictionaries can easily uh, be uh, changed. We can uh, change the items from dictionary easily. We can also uh, shrink. Shrink uh, means we can uh, re uh, reduce the items from the dictionary, the li uh, list of uh, dictionary. And also we can increase the uh, number of items in the dictionary. We can add a new item in the dictionary. We can uh, delete or shrink the items from uh, a dictionary. So uh, list also uh, changeable. We can change uh, item value or uh, I mean uh, item from a list. And also we can uh, change, we can uh, shrink, which means we can uh, delete item from a list as well as uh, in a dictionary. So they are uh, uh, similar in this case. Uh, lists versus uh, dictionaries. Uh, the similarities of lists uh, and dictionaries are they are uh, mutable, which means we can update uh, the items anytime we want uh, in the dictionary as well as in the list. Both are dynamic, which means we can update, delete, or uh, uh, add new item in the dictionary and in the list. That is what. That's why uh, lists and dictionaries are dynamic. We can uh, update, delete, and uh, uh, insert or add new uh, entry in the dictionary and item. Both can be nested. We can uh, create a nested uh, uh, dictionary, and we can also create a nested list in uh, uh, like uh, just create a new, uh, another dictionary inside a dictionary, as well as uh, create another list inside uh, a list. That is why uh, we call it uh, nested. We can uh, nest uh, another dictionary inside the dictionary. 
like for uh, for loop, we can nest the for loop uh, side loop. We can create another loop that is a nested loop. The same is true for uh, dictionary and lists. We can uh, create another dictionary inside dictionary. We can also create a list inside dictionary. And we can also create a dictionary inside a list. So a list can contain another list, which means we can uh, nest the list. We can create another list inside list. A dictionary can also uh, contain another dictionary that is a nested uh, dictionary. We can create uh, another dictionary inside dictionary that is a nested dictionary. As well as uh, we can create a list inside a dictionary. Vice versa. Is Those are the similarities of uh, lists and dictionaries and the uh, dissimilarities of uh, lists and dictionaries. Lists are ordered sets of objects, ordered sets of collection of objects, while dictionaries are unordered sets of objects. Items in lists are accessed uh, uh, via their uh, position. Position means the index of the item. For example, in the list, the first item in the list is uh, uh, represented by index zero that uh, uh, continue the number of uh, indexes or increase uh, the number of index indexes at up to uh, the end of the uh, element in the list. That uh, uh, lists, the items in the list can be accessed through uh, their uh, positions, index of the items. While items in dictionaries are accessed via keys, not uh, index, not index in the uh, like uh, items. So those are the difference between uh, lists and uh, dictionaries. How can we create a dictionary? We can uh, simply create. Hello, uh, there is a sound behind. Uh, turn off your mic. Uh, how can we create a dictionary? So we can uh, define a dictionary uh, using uh, key, pair, uh, key value pair. Uh, this is the simple uh, syntax of creating a dictionary. There is a key that identifies the value in the dictionary and the value that can be uh, uh, represented by the key uh, in the dictionary. So that is called a key pay, uh, value pair. Each uh, key in the dictionary uh, can be uh, separated by a colon. Each key in the dictionary separated from a value is by colon in type. And each item, this is a one item in the dictionary. Each item has key and value. Key and value can be separated by a colon. And each item uh, are, uh, uh, each items are separated by commas, comma separated. Uh, so uh, a single item has key that can identify the values in that, uh, that, uh, in that dictionary. And also the whole thing is enclosed by uh, curly braces, not uh, a square bracket like a uh, list. Lists can be enclosed by uh, square brackets, but uh, in dictionary, we can uh, enclose the list of items by curly braces in both sides. Uh, we open curly braces and enclose by uh, close the curly braces uh, at the end of the and we can also create an entity dictionary without any items uh, inside the dictionary. That is called entity dictionary. Just uh, two uh, curly braces like this to create entity dictionary. Let's try to see an example. Uh, how can we create entity dictionary? This uh, the, uh, dictionary D, the object dictionary D, and we can simply uh, create like this. This is an MBT dictionary. There, there is no items in this uh, dictionary. This is called MBT dictionary. Uh, let's try to see, uh, print this dictionary and see the result. This is uh, MBT dictionary. So uh, define or create a dictionary 
uh, we can simply uh, use uh, curly braces and we can list the items inside the curly braces. Each item in the curly in the dictionary uh, has key and value separated by col uh, colon and each item can be separated by uh, comma in uh, dictionary. Uh, in the second example, uh, how can we create uh, uh, integer? In uh, the case, uh, maybe uh, the integer, maybe a string or tuple. So we can, uh, uh, but the keys cannot be uh, uh, modified or changed. That is, the key must be a unique value. Uh, we cannot repeat, uh, repeatedly uh, uh, create a key with the same name, the same key, uh, key name, but we can repeat the values of the key. Key always uh, unique. Uh, uh, for example, let's create uh, a dictionary with integer uh, key. One value is, uh, for example, apple, an apple. And another dictionary, uh, I mean, another item with uh, key two. And the value is banana. This is the keys are uh, integer, integer keys. So we can uh, uh, give uh, any type of uh, uh, key. So uh, it doesn't matter. But we cannot uh, repeat the key name. For example, here, we cannot repeat one apple. This is uh, wrong. The, we can repeat the values in the, uh, uh, in, with different uh, key, with different key. Here, uh, let's write like uh, three. So we can repeat the value, but the key must be uh, unique. Uh, let's try uh, to see the uh, the output. This the output will be uh, uh, look like this. So this uh, return is the dictionary, not uh, return is each item. Just uh, display the result in dictionary and create dictionary with mixed case, which means like integer and a string, uh, for example, a dictionary uh, like integer one, I mean, uh, like name. It is a, a string, uh, and the key uh, with uh, integer one, that uh, three. This is the, the second one uh, with a mixed key, uh, having uh, integer uh, key and uh, string key. So we can create. That's why uh, it is uh, an ordered uh, set of uh, collection of uh, items or objects, because we can mix uh, different uh, types of uh, keys, different types of uh, data in, uh, in the same uh, dictionary, in the same dictionary. And in the third one, we can create dictionary using dict keyword, uh, I mean, function. So dict like uh, one apple to ban banana. Three, uh, three is orange, and we can print this. So we can create dictionary in uh, two ways. The first one we can create simply uh, define uh, look like this, and the other uh, way, uh, way is uh, create a dictionary using dict uh, uh, function. Inside function, we can define the dictionary. So this is another way of creating uh, a dictionary. OK. Uh, while values can be of any uh, data type, any data type, we can uh, assign values for keys with uh, any data type. And we can also repeat the values of a key, but we cannot uh, repeat the keys. Key must be a unique. And keys must be of 
immutable type. We cannot, we cannot change the key. Uh, we cannot modify the key. A string number or tuple with immutable uh, elements. We can create uh, use integer uh, key. We can use uh, tuple uh, key or a string key, but they are immutable. We cannot change. We cannot uh, modify the keys, but we can uh, modify the values of the key in the dictionary. Keys must be unique. Uh, for example, here, let's try to see this uh, one. Uh, here, why 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 uh, it does uh, it, it it didn't print uh, uh, this or let's change orange. One is uh, the third uh, items uh, not uh, printed out. Why? Because the keys, uh, the key one is repeated again. So uh, dictionary uh, by default ignores repeated uh, 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 keys, repeated uh, keys, because uh, the key must be unique. If we give a key for, uh, three for this, it will print uh, out. Understand? Hello? Yes, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Okay, how can we access? If you uh, understand, how can you create a dictionary using uh, either a dictionary key uh, function or simply using a curly bra uh, uh, brasses? How can we access uh, dictionary elements? So we can access uh, dictionary elements. Uh, in different ways, but it is not indexed uh, based because, uh, which means we cannot uh, access uh, dictionary elements using uh, position of the dictionary. But in list, we can access each list item using uh, position of the list item, list item, which means index based, the index of the item by uh, calling the index of the item. The index starts from zero up to uh, n. n means the total number, uh, n minus one. n minus one, n means the total number of elements in the list. But in dictionary, we can access the items from a dictionary uh, in uh, uh, other ways. So while the indexing is used with other uh, container types to access values, dictionary uses keys. Dictionary uses keys, not uh, indexing. Indexing uh, uses in a uh, uh, list to access list items, but in dictionary, we use keys to access the values of the uh, items in the dictionary. Key can be used either inside uh, square brackets or with uh, the get method. Get, there is uh, another method we can use either uh, a square bracket by uh, referring the key name in a square bracket or uh, using get method. So let's try to see uh, each uh, method. How can we access? First, let's create uh, a dictionary which uh, contains a list of uh, students. Uh, for example, uh, a student with a dictionary name, a student name. As well, age is uh, 32 and hometown at this at this Ababa. Uh, then let's print this dictionary std std is uh, okay uh, th there should be uh, in a single quote when you write a key if 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 it is not an uh, integer which means uh, a string you should uh, uh, write inside a quote either a double quote or single quote it doesn't matter but integer, uh, we, uh, you can simply write integer key. 
without uh, quotation. If every uh, uh, string or a, every uh, uh, key which is uh, written inside quotation is uh, considered as represented as uh, a string, not uh, uh, integer. So uh, we have three items in the uh, dictionary, name, age, and hometown. The name, uh, uh, the name key uh, refers uh, the values as silver, and edge key refers uh, the, uh, the value uh, 32, and hometown uh, key refers uh, the value at this ababa. So how can we access? For example, if uh, I want to uh, print the values of or the keys of uh, uh, the first item, like name. So how can we uh, uh, using uh, access elements by using dictionary item? The dictionary item uh, like uh, std name. So this uh, is the key that uh, this key uh, refers the values as server automatically uh, find the values from a dictionary and just uh, refers that value in that key. So it will uh, print it out. That is what as server. This is the way how can we access the values of uh, a dictionary item, a dictionary item. We always uh, refers the key in a square bracket with a dictionary, then uh, we can get the values of that uh, key, the values of that key. If we want to print the edge of a server, just uh, call dictionary with a square bracket uh, edge. Edge is the keys that uh, refers uh, the values of Sartito. So it will uh, print it out uh, Sartito on the screen. Another way we can use get method. This is an alternative way to get the values of a dictionary item. Print uh, std dot get get what the name of uh, I mean uh, the key name for example. Yes. It prints out a silver because this uh, gets the key is name. Just uh, get the values of the key name uh, as silver. Uh, we can uh, print out, for example, uh, std dot uh, get and key is home town. The hometown is at this server. So. These are the way how can we access the values of uh, dictionary items. So uh, what is the difference between uh, this one, this uh, the first one, and using uh, get method? The difference while using get is that it's, it returns none instead of key error. If the, uh, the key is not found, for example, let's see uh, an example. Print, let's print uh, std school. Uh, it uh, it's, uh, generates an error that is a key error because a school is not found uh, in this dictionary. A school is not found in this. Dictionary. So this is a key error. But uh, while using uh, a get method, instead of uh, this uh, item name, uh, std get a score. It prints none instead of none, because this key is not found in the dictionary uh, std. So this is uh, better than while, uh, if while referring uh, key, which is not found in the dictionary. Okay, uh, the other is because uh, with uh, 
I said uh, dictionary is uh, dynamic, so we can uh, delete. We can uh, update uh, dictionaries. We can update dictionaries, uh, dictionary values, or we can uh, add new entry in the dictionary. For example, if uh, we want this uh, school is not found in the dictionary student uh, or std so we can add a new dictionary uh, dictionary item in the current uh, dictionary uh, just uh, std a school this is the way how can we uh, add new item in the uh, dictionary now we can print std at, at, at the top of the dictionary a school is added school is added this is uh, adding a new item or adding new entry in the dictionary the other is for example, if I wanted to uh, change the values of H, so we can update or uh, update the value the value of H to uh, sorty. Just uh, use std then key name, then change to sorty. We can print and uh, let's see the output. In the first, in the previous, the age uh, was 30, 32, and the new updated dictionary, uh, the value of age is changed to 30. So this is updating a dictionary uh, uh, item uh, in, uh, I mean, uh, updating a dictionary item, uh, just like uh, this. Uh, we can uh, add new uh, entry, new item in the dictionary using, uh, this uh, way. We can also use uh, update method to update a dictionary. For example, if I want to update, I want to update the dictionary item using uh, update method, std. For example, if I want to change the edge value, value to 28, then let's see. Then std dot update edge 28. Uh, okay, sorry. update uh, std dot syntax error update expect at most one argument gets three uh, two arguments create int object is not i treble okay I forget uh, this method. Okay. Uh, uh, std dot. Okay. Uh, anyways, we can use uh, update method to update a dictionary, and uh, instead of uh, using uh, this uh, indexing uh, method, indexing method, and the other uh, thing is. Because dictionary is uh, dynamic, we can update, delete, add new entry in the dictionary. And the other is deleting dictionary items. If we want to delete item from a dictionary, we can uh, either uh, removing 
using uh, delete method or del. And uh, so you can uh, either removing individual dictionary elements or clear the entire contents of a dictionary using clear dictionary dot uh, dictionary name dot clear function or uh, you can also delete entire dictionary in a single uh, operation to remove an entire dictionary just use uh, dl dl uh, uh, statement and the other the other function like pop i think you know uh, pop uh, function in C++, just uh, uh, delete item or pop item from uh, the top of the list. The same is true, uh, just uh, deleting item from uh, a dictionary. And pop item, pop item is another function to uh, delete uh, item from a dictionary. So uh, let's try to see, uh, remove uh, entry with a key name. For example, if I want to remove a school from uh, uh, a dictionary uh, STD, we can use uh, DL then STD, with the school, then uh, we can print the results, std. Then uh, a school item is deleted from a dictionary, from dictionary. So we can simply use uh, dl uh, then with a, uh, key name in the dictionary uh, item, then we can delete that item from a dictionary. The item not values or not uh, uh, specifically uh, key uh, name. The uh, single item will be uh, deleted from a dictionary, from a dictionary. This is uh, one way, which means removing entry with a key name, a single entry from a a dictionary with a key name and deleting a key using pop. Uh, how can we uh, delete uh, using pop? std dot pop then uh, a school. I mean, uh, a school is not found already deleted. Now let's edge. STD. Okay. Uh, here, a school is not found because the school is uh, deleted. Uh, so we should uh, uh, disable this, or we should, uh, I mean, uh, run uh, this again. Because once you delete it, and uh, when you run again that uh, uh, cell, it will uh, uh, generate error because that key is not found in the dictionary. That key is, or that item is not uh, found in the dictionary. And every time we should uh, uh, run the whole uh, data. Okay. So now edge is deleted from uh, this. So we can uh, use either uh, this method, the DL method, or using pop method. And another is deleting a key using pop item. This is another way. Uh, let's try to see the difference between pop and pop item. Uh, print std dot pop item without uh, a key. Here, uh, we don't uh, need to provide uh, a key name inside this pop item function. 
फिर लेट्स प्रिंट एस टी ओके स्कूल इज नॉट फाउंड अगेन लेट्स रन दिस नाउ we have left uh, one uh, item in the dictionary so who can tell me what is the difference between pop and pop item anyone anyone can tell me pop item i think it did the last one which one the last uh, element it is the last element in pop item pop item yes yeah so pop uh, just uh, dele uh, deleting a specific uh, item from a dictionary but pop item is uh, just uh, deleting the last item from a dictionary the last item uh, from a dictionary so that this is the difference between the uh, pop and pop item and The other is uh, removing the entire uh, dictionary using clear. Clear when you call the clear function, the uh, entire dictionary will be uh, uh, deleted. Deleted. Let's here. Let's try std dot clear. Uh, let's print. std just printed uh, mpt uh, dictionary because the entire uh, dictionary is uh, deleted or uh, removed so this is the way how can we uh, clear uh, entire uh, dictionary so this is what uh, deleting items from a dictionary uh, using pop method or dl uh, method using a key name or item uh, uh, key name and the other is uh, to delete uh, the last item from a dictionary with uh, a pop item uh, function or method and clear uh, method is just uh, to delete the entire dictionary Uh, we can also use uh, dl uh, method to delete the entire uh, dictionary let's see uh, this uh, method S, uh, dl std okay name is not defined already deleted previously okay let's run this again and name std is not uh, defined because it is uh, deleted the difference between clear and uh, delete who can tell me uh, the difference between delete and uh, delete as uh, entire uh, i mean std and uh, clear method in clear method just uh, deleting or removing the entire uh, dictionary items but mpt dictionary will be uh, available in the uh, in this case but when when you are deleting uh, using dl and uh, dictionary name the whole di uh, dictionary will be uh, deleted no mpt dictionary uh, in this case so this is the difference between uh, dl uh, this one and uh, clear method to explicit uh, explicitly uh, remove an entire dictionary just use uh, dl statements clear clear the entire contents of a dictionary not the entire dictionary understand okay uh now how can we access all elements using uh, loop iteratively uh, uh access uh, elements in the dictionary the first uh, let's create a dictionary with 
uh, for example, my dict. dict one with three, two, four, H. We have uh, a dictionary, uh, this, and create a new dictionary and print all keys in, in the dictionary. All keys here, to print all keys in the dictionary, the keys are one, two, and H. So uh, uh, with a for loop, for every uh, key in, uh, I mean, key in the dictionary, my dict, then print key. The keys are one, two, and H. This is just printing or accessing the whole uh, uh, dictionary uh, keys uh, using for loop. And the second one, print all values through a dictionary. The values for uh, dictionary I, uh, key one is three. So I want to uh, access three, four, and 34, the values of each uh, keys. So we can use value in uh, my dict dot values method. Values method and print value. Here, instead of keys, we can print the values of uh, each items, items in, in the dictionary. We uh, use iteratively use the values in the uh, dictionary items using uh, dictionary dot values uh, function values function, and the third method is print all values through a dictionary using values. Okay, this one is uh, uh, I interchanged this one. Uh, let's without values we can access we can. Uh, uh, print the values of a dictionary items without using values method, uh, just for key in uh, my dict, just print key index, I mean, uh, print my dict with key. For, uh, for every uh, uh, key in the in the dictionary, just uh, call the values of uh, that key, that key. Then iteratively print uh, the values of the dictionary items, three, four, 34, three, four, 34. This one is using uh, using values method using values method without uh, using values method. So we can access uh, dictionary values, dictionary keys uh, in different ways. And the other is print all keys and values through a dictionary using items method. So if we want to uh, print out the keys and uh, values of a dictionary items, so using items method for every uh, key and value value in uh, my dict dot items method, then we can print key value. This is the key value uh, for This is key one, value three, key two, value four, and H is 34. This is the way, how can we print out or access the key and values in the dictionary using items method. And we can uh, access the values of a dictionary item uh, either uh, using values method uh, through a for loop or using uh, a key. A key in the for loop. 
So this is uh, accessing all elements using loop, for loop. And how can we create uh, a have, nested? Yes, do you have question? I have question. In, okay. in example right. three, in example three. Which one? Yes, in one? here, in example three. Oh, okay, how, how the for loop to take the key value? How, uh, how we can define is this is the key. For example, in example two, you write four values in my deck dot values. So I can take the values, okay? Yeah, here, uh, but, let's- uh, But in, in example three, it's it's uh, for, for key in my dict, it's uh, necessary to write in my dict dot keys or just in my dict. Uh, yeah, uh, to access the dictionary elements, let's let's get back to the previous one. To access dictionary items, we just use uh, dictionary name with uh, key in the square bracket, right? Okay. Key name. This is uh, this refers to the key name in the dictionary item. So if that key is found in the dictionary, just print it uh, out the values of that key, right? Right, okay, okay, I, I understand. Okay, uh, okay. Thanks. thank you. Thank you, thank you. Here, we uh, iteratively uh, throw uh, each dictionary keys, just uh, call dictionary name with uh, key, that key. If the first key is, for example, name, or the first key is, for example, one, it starts from the first, actually. Then one refers uh, the values of three, right? Okay, okay. okay. But but uh, uh, in for loop, it's iterative for one, two, three, or from or for uh, the value of key or what? Hey, in this example, third example. Yes, key, the key. It's iterative. Uh, how can the key is uh, change? Okay. To uh, first, uh, let's uh, see. To access the keys, not the values of the dictionary, we use uh, a for loop. Uh, from a dictionary, we iteratively print the keys of uh, that uh, dictionary items. Right. Here. Here, uh, it's printing out all keys iteratively, right? Okay. Uh, it starts from the first item in the dictionary, then uh, it prints one, not the values of this uh, key, just printing out one and continue to the second item, right? Just uh, get the key from the second item and print us and uh, the third item, edge, then continue uh, the fourth item. There is no fourth item, then the loop uh, terminated here, right? Then the uh, whole uh, keys will be uh, printed out iteratively. Here, uh, wh when we want to uh, print the values of that key, this is the key, right? Then we call the dictionary name and key uh, inside that uh, square bracket in the dictionary, right? So instead of uh, this, for example, uh, here, the key is one, just replace one here, right? Then okay, the values of uh, the key one is three. And instead of uh, key one, it prints out uh, three because we are uh, referring the values of that key, not uh, key, uh, key of that uh, in the dictionary. So that's why we uh, call uh, like this to access uh, values in the dictionary, right? Understand? Okay, so because uh, my dict is dictionary, the iterative item is key? Yes, my dict is a dictionary, then uh, to iteratively print all the whole dic uh, dictionary items, just uh, we use uh, from uh, my dict, we print each dictionary keys, right? Each item keys. Oh. So, okay. Uh, if, if, can... uh, if, if, if it's let's list, for example, not dictionary, 
the iterative item will be the index value. Data, yes, yeah. Uh, this is uh, just uh, index. Uh, the is in for loop. It starts from uh, it uses indexing mechanism and it starts from the first item that uh, is the index zero, right? Okay. Then the loop uh, starts from the first item. The first item uh, index is zero, and uh, continue uh, uh, until uh, the end of the items in the dictionary. Then. Uh, just uh, printing the keys, not uh, printing the values of that key in the dictionary. This is the way. This is the way how can we access uh, keys in a for loop? Because we are iterating uh, each key in the dictionary. Then, but we want to access the values of uh, that key instead of uh, accessing the key. So we just use my dict. In a square bracket, uh, we refer the key because if we uh, want to print access the values of that key, we use uh, this mechanism. Or instead, we can use uh, my dict dot get key, right? So uh, it, it's just uh, printing uh, the values of that uh, key instead of. Uh, that one we can use uh, get uh, method, get method. So this is the way. If you have any other question, you can uh, ask me here. What about uh, if we want to uh, check the I, uh, uh, key is uh, found in the dictionary or not? For example, if we want to check three is if three is in uh, my dict, print yes, else print. Key not found. Key not found because three is not found in the uh, dictionary, right? For example, if uh, one, if one is found in the dictionary, my dict, it prints yes. Yes, one is found in the dictionary. The key, not the values of that key, right? So we can. Uh, use uh, this way to check uh, key is found or not. And uh, the other thing, we can uh, uh, create nested dictionary in uh, dictionary, and we can also create nested uh, lists, which means we can create a, a dictionary inside, a, 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 we can create another dictionary inside a, a dictionary, uh, for example, uh, like this, uh, we have a dictionary nested dict. Then inside uh, this dictionary, uh, there is a dict one. This is a key for uh, a dictionary nested dict, right? But in, uh, in this uh, key, there is another dictionary. There is another dictionary, key one value. And in this key, this uh, is key for uh, nested dictionary. Ne um, I mean, next uh, nested underscore dict. But in this case, there is another uh, dictionary. This is called a nested uh, dictionary. So uh, nested dictionary can be created by placing comma separated uh, dictionaries enclosed within a process. A process. So uh, for example, uh, create input dictionary here. Uh, nested dict. This is MPT. Let's print nested uh, dict. This is a MPT dictionary. And 
in uh, the second create uh, MBT nested dictionary inside uh, dic uh, this nested dictionary. Nested uh, dict dict one. This is uh, MPT, uh, MPT dictionary. This is, so this is a, a key for uh, the dictionary nested dict, but we are creating an MPT uh, dictionary. For example, if you print this nested uh, dict, here we uh, created MPT dictionary inside this uh, nested dict, right? MPT dictionary. And adding element one at a time, for example, uh, if we want to add uh, in this nested dict, dict one, uh, for example, uh, like name, Print so I have uh, added a new item in the dictionary, nested dictionary, dict one name with uh, this one. And we can also add uh, like uh, the whole dictionary, for example, uh, nested dict, dict one. And instead of using name like uh, this, we can uh, use name H like this. This is another way of creating a nested dictionary. Print uh, nested dict like this. So this is uh, the way how can we create a nested uh, dictionary. So how can we access uh, the values or the keys in the next uh, nested dictionary? Access nested dictionary. For example, if I want to uh, access the name of this, uh, just print nested dict. Then uh, dict one, uh, the name that prints uh, the name of uh, the key name, the values of the key name in the nested dic uh, dictionary, uh, nested dic uh, dictionary. So this is the way, how can we access uh, elements in the next, uh, nested dictionary. We can use a uh, for loop in the next, uh, nested dictionary. If we want to print the keys of the nested dictionary, we can for every uh, dict in, I mean, uh, NS dict in nested dict, for example, print nest dict. The key for a nested dictionary is uh, dict one, but I want to print a uh, name and edge in the nested dictionary. So we use another for loop for a uh, key in nest dict print key. That is, I mean, uh, Okay, nested, sorry. Here, uh, we can uh, use dict one. This is key. Like this, 
we can simply call nested dict, just uh, printing the nested uh, keys in this uh, dictionary. And I want to uh, print the values of the nested uh, dictionary. Uh, nested dict, dict one, then refers key like this. Just print the values as silver and uh, edge sorted. So we can do more things uh, using nested uh, dictionary because especially nested dictionary is very, very important because if we have a data, uh, uh, so uh, that uh, data may, uh, may be in, in the form of a nested dictionary. So we can access each uh, data values from a uh, nested dictionary using a uh, loop iteratively uh, uh, get the values of uh, each item in the dictionary using uh, for loop. Because uh, we may get data from a uh, website in the form of dictionary or list or JSON or whatever we want. But the main uh, thing is how can we parse exact data from that uh, exact values of the data uh, using uh, this uh, way. This is all about uh, introduction to a dictionary. Uh, so you, uh, there are a lot of uh, methods in dictionary. Uh, you can uh, read more about uh, dictionary, compare uh, two dictionaries, two dictionaries. For example, if uh, we may have dict one, one, two, and dict two, three, one, and four, two. Let's compare uh, the two dict uh, dictionary using compare dict one, dict two. Okay, CMP, there is, CM, okay, CMP is uh, not compare. So uh, we need to define that uh, same. And it's, uh, you can read more. And language of the dictionary, you can, uh, the total number of items in the dictionary, len, len method, uh, string method type, the type of the items in the dictionary, copy uh, one uh, dictionary items in the, uh, into the other dictionary, clear uh, keys. Keys is also we can uh, uh, find uh, keys. For example, uh, if I want to find, the keys of uh, dict one, dict one, keys. That is one. The key is one. Dict keys uh, mechanism. Uh, we can uh, simply get the keys of a dictionary from keys and updates. Okay, updates, not updates. So this is all about. Uh, so we can uh, read more about dictionary list and. List compression, also dictionary compression, uh, for loop, nested loop. So they are uh, the most important uh, uh, topics uh, for uh, data science. Thanks for uh, watching. If you have any question, welcome. <laughs>